Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Hursby Point Society Quiz, brought to you by the Hearst Festival. The lucky winner will receive, receive this fabulous prize, which you can't see very well, but it's a lovely green rosette. And we'll expect you to wear it with pride around the village and outside the village too, if you like. As with all Hearst Festival events this year, entry is free, but donations are very gratefully received. You can either donate to the festival via its website, or if you'd like to support the Hearst Point Society and find out more about what we do, then check out our website, hearstpointsociety.org.uk. You can make ad hoc donations via the donate page or become a member using the membership page. And if you have any problems setting up payments, please send us an email and we'll do our best to sort it out. So tonight we have pre-registered contestants actively participating through Zoom, but we'll keep you on mute as you wouldn't want the other contestants to hear you discussing your answers. Please raise your hand or wave if you need me to repeat anything and one of my glamorous assistants will unmute you. The quiz is also being live streamed on YouTube, so any of you watching via this channel can test your knowledge without the need to participate. However, if you would like to pit your wits against the contestants on Zoom and have the chance to win this wonderful rosette, just click on the subscribe button and you'll be able to join in and submit your points via the chat. The quiz is divided into three rounds with a total of 40 points up for grabs. We're entrusting you all to score, score yourselves and we'll have a tally of points after each round. And we're hoping there won't be too much controversy or, over the answers or this could last all night. So let's try not to get too heated. Right, on that note, I trust everyone has a pen and paper to hand. So let's get started. Round one, buildings. Question number one. Noel's Tooth is now a private home. Where is it for one point and what was it used for previously for a second point? So that's Noel's Tooth is now a private house. Where is it and what was it used for previously? That's two possible points. Everybody ready? Question number two. St George's house is now apartments. Which famous local family lived there and at Little Park in the 19th century, owning the department store known as Brighton's Harrods, which closed in 2001? But again, St George's house is now apartments. Which famous local family lived there and at Little Park in the 19th century? owning the department store known as Brighton's Harrods. Everybody ready? Question number three. Where is the pest house for one point and why was it so named for another point? That's where is the pest house and why was it so named? Two points available. I can still see people writing answers. Everybody ready? Question number four. Which famous naturalist is commemorated with a plaque at Treeps? Which famous naturalist is commemorated with a plaque at Treeps? Everyone good to go move on? Question number five, where was the original village forge? 
Where was the original village forge? Everyone ready? Question number six. What was the original purpose of Lamb House at the top of Cookfield Road for one point? And in which decade, decade was it built for another point? What was the original purpose of Lamb House? And in which decade was it built? Two points in total. Oh. Everybody ready? Question number seven. Where is the building which was once the village slaughterhouse owned by Mr Baker? And for a bonus point, what is the name of the building that it was located in or where it was located? Where is, where is the building which was once the village slaughterhouse owned by Mr. Baker? And for a bonus point, what is the name of the building? Everybody ready? Number eight. What is the name of the cottage dated 1460 next to Spotted Cow Cottage on Allborn Road? Uh, what is the name of the cottage next to Spotted Cow Cottage on Allborn Road? Number nine. Where is Card's Place? Wow. Where is Card's Place? Number 10. By what name was Hurst College originally called for one point? And where was it originally located? By what name was Hearst College originally called and where was it originally located? Two points in total. And that's the end of round one. So we'll go through the answers before we move on to round two and then we'll see how well everyone's doing. Question number one. Noel's tooth was um, previously, sorry, it's located halfway down Langton Lane. So if anyone said Langton Lane, you can give yourselves a point. And it was formerly a children's holiday home operated by Chichester Diocese. So if you've got a children's home, that's sufficient and you can get another point for that. And may I add, you don't have to know both answers. So if you knew, know, knew what it was, but didn't know where it was, you do still get a point. Uh, number two, St George's House um, was the home of the Hannington family. Number three, Pest House is just off Bedlam Street on the way towards Randolph's Farm. And it's known as that because it was used as an isolation house for travellers in times of the plague. Question number four. The famous naturalist who's commemorated at Treats was Alfred Russell Wallace but I'm feeling generous, so you can have a point if you just got Wallace. Number five, the original village forge 
was on Pitt Lane, which is actually per the signpost now called Pitt Road, but it was originally Pitt Lane. So whether you've got Pitt Lane or Pitt Road, you can give yourself a point for that. Number six, Lamb House was originally built as an inn for stagecoaches on the London to Brighton run and vice versa, of course. And it was built in the 1830s. Help is for the way you look at me. Oh, it's for the only one. Who's got music playing? <laughs> Um, yeah, so number seven, the building which was once the village slaughterhouse is opposite the village garden next to Reflections, but if you've said the high street, we'll take that as well. And for a bonus point, the building, it's, um, the building is now called South Down Terrace. Number eight, the cottage next to Spotted Cow Cottage is Pidwidgeon. Um, Cards Place is on the High Street on the corner of um, Pitt Road, which of course was really Pitt Lane, but either, well, if you can just say High Street, if you said it's on the corner of Pitt Lane, then um, you can give yourself another half a point if you like. And then number 10, Hurst College was originally called St John's College and it was located in the Mansion House. So a point each for those two interesting facts. So has everybody tallied up their scores for that round? Um, Julia, can I ask one question? You may indeed. Um, Pest House, uh, was that a possible two question, two points? Yes. Okay. So where it is and why was it so yeah. named? So, has anybody got more than five points? Yes. More than eight? I've got nine. Oh, well done. I've got 11. <laughs> well done. So, has anybody on Zoom got, um, got more than that? How are they doing on Zoom? I mean, on uh, I mean YouTube, sorry. Um, nobody's posted any points on YouTube yet. If you would like to post your points on YouTube, do. But Belinda Sharp says that she was actually she's actually sitting in Card's place as we all speak. So um, that's quite Ooh. fun. <laughs> um, oh, somebody uh, ex Lola BMX says they've got ten. So that's quite a good one. Um, we shall see if anybody else comes up with anything better on YouTube. I shall let you know. Wonderful. So, is everybody ready to move on to round two? And round two covers um, what I've called geographical features. And there are a total of 11 points in this round. So, question 11. How many conservation areas are there in the village? Oh, gosh. Again, how many conservation areas are there in the village? Sorry, I was getting distracted by somebody's nice music there. Question number 12. Where is the feature known as Campion's Eyebrows? That's where is the feature known as Campion's Eyebrows? Question number 13. Where is the stone marking the boundary of Hurstpier Point and Clayton Parishes? Mm. 
where is the stone marking the boundary of Hurstby Point and Clayton Parishes? Everybody ready? Number 14. If you walk down St George's Lane and turn left, what is the name of that lane which runs north past Primrose Cottage? If you walk down St George's Lane and turn left, what's the name of the lane running north past Primrose Cottage? How's everybody doing? Okay. Right, let's move on to number 15. Where is the village heritage apple orchard? And I'll give you a bonus point um, if you know the actual name of the field rather than just the area that it's in. So where is the village heritage apple orchard? Number 16. Where were the Chinese Gardens, a pleasure park opened in 1841? Where were the Chinese Gardens? Everybody ready? Then we shall move on to number 17. What is unusual about the geographical and religious orientation of the St George's Church, which is now a private house? What is unusual about the geographical and religious orientation of the St George's Church? Everybody ready? Number 18. What is odd about 43 High Street? What is odd about 43 High Street? Bit of a tricky one, this one, but I'm sure there are some of you that know the answer. Has everybody got an answer? Yes. Right, number 19. Why was Cookfield Road originally called New Road? Why was Cookfield Road originally called New Road? I'm just thinking there could be quite an obvious answer to that one, but... Yes. <laughs> now, number 20. In what year was the War Memorial unveiled? In what year was the War Memorial unveiled? All right. Everybody got a question for round two? An answer. I mean, an answer, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go through the answers. So number 11, there are three conservation areas in the village. Number 12, Campion's Eyebrows is on the north face of Wollstonebury Hill. It's actually two small copses. I think they run either side of the footpath and look like eyebrows. The stone marking the boundary of Hursby Point and Clayton Parishes is at the top of Wickham Hill. And it's actually on the corner of Crossways Lane, but I think the top of Wickham Hill is probably enough. 
And the road that runs from St George's Lane north past Primrose Cottage, this is number 14, sorry, is called Latchet's Lane. Latchet's Track. Or Latchet's Track, should it be? Ah. Tis to me. <laughs> Well, we'll definitely let you have Latchett's track if you put Thank that. You. <laughs> Number 15, the village heritage apple orchard is in Hurst Meadows, but you can give yourself a bonus point if you got Buck Willie Field. Ooh. And the ch Number 16, the Chinese gardens they were situated off Western Road, um, roughly now at the entrance to Pier Point Close, but Western Road is sufficient for a point. Number 17, um, the unusual geographical and religious orientation of the St George's Church is that it doesn't run east to west. Now, I didn't set this question and I this was something I wasn't aware of and I know also there's one of the orientations is where the doorway is meant to face um and I think I think the doorway is facing in the wrong direction as well as the fact that the house doesn't the building doesn't quite run east to west either so it's to do with the east west orientation anything related to that you can have a point um, and the odd thing about number 43, the High Street, is that it doesn't actually exist anymore. It was formerly um, the communal wash house and lavatories, but uh, we don't have one of those anymore. So there's no number 43. And number 19, um, Cookfield Road was originally called New Road because it was the new Turnpike Road from Anstey and it was built in 1835. And finally for that round, number 20, the War Memorial was unveiled in 1922. So how's everybody feeling after the second round? Is there a, is there a plus or minus on the War Memorial <laughs> of years? Oh, I tell you what, if you've got anyone who got 1922 can get two points. And if you were within, shall we say, five years, you can have one point. Okay. <laughs> got away with that one, Mr. Do you think that's too generous? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I got 1920, that's why I put it. I was going to say if you got within two years, but. Uh, one little correction, Julia, was that there is a number 43, but it is actually through the gate uh, and it isn't a wash house or lavatories anymore. But um, it is there. But Yes, there is a gateway still, isn't there? There are oh, two yeah. numbers, 43, sorry, 41 and 45, and 43 is a gate. Mm. Yes, sort. exactly. There's just a gateway, no longer a, a house. So... Right, so who got more than eight points in that round, as we have some people who are obviously doing quite well? <laughs> Anybody get more than eight? Right, who got more than five? I got eight. Sorry, I should have said eight or over. Right, well, I got eight. Well done, John. Thank you. <laughs> well done. So nobody got more than John. Anybody on YouTube fancied submitting any score higher than eight? Well, Only if you actually scored higher than eight, of course. No higher than eight. Um, Belinda Sharp got eight. She also got eight in the previous round. Colin Matthews got um, only six. So he did eight in the last round. So um, I think it's quite a... Um, Everyone's got a sim similar similar level of knowledge. Yes, we've got quite a few people clamouring for the top spot at the moment then. <laughs> and uh, how many did you, did you get, Michelle? Six. Six. I'm keeping a tally, just so you all okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So the final round um, is a Ooh. miscellaneous round in the grand old tradition of quizzes. Number 21. When was the Hurstpit Point Society formed? Now, I'll give you two points Ooh. for the exact year or one point if you're within 10 years. Oh, golly. Oh, hang on. Let me mute myself. So, when was the Hurstpit Point Society formed? And uh, two points if you get it exact. Number 22. One of the local Hannington family became a bishop. Where was he murdered? Now, you can get one point for the region or the country in which he was murdered or if you know the specific location you get two points um. so where was Bishop Hannington murdered Right, let's move on to number 23. In which year did Sir Lawrence School, which was originally the Hurstpier Point National School, celebrate its 150th anniversary at its current location? So in which year did St Lawrence School celebrate its 150th anniversary at its current location? How's everyone doing with that? I think that's um, consent that we can move on. So uh, number 24, when was Cards Place built and what language is used for the motto on the first floor? And that's for a bonus point, the language. So when was Cards Place built and what language is used for the motto on the first floor? Law. So that's a total of two points for that question. Number 25. What activity across the high street led to the new inn gaining its license in 1810? So what activity across the high street led to the new inn gaining its license in 1810. Um. Hopefully everyone's thought of something to put down for that. Uh, number 26, what was the previous name of the Poacher Inn? And if you can get the name previous to that, uh, you can have a bonus point. Um, so what was the previous name of the poacher in? And a bonus point if you can get the name previous to that. Everybody ready? Number 27. What was the first use of the building that is now the Players Theatre? What was the first use of the building that is now the Players Theatre? Right, let's move on to the next question. Number 28. When the parish church was rebuilt in 1843 to 45, the architect was Charles Barry. What world famous building did he also design? So that's what world famous building did Charles Barry also design? In addition to our wonderful village church, which you can all see on your screens, it's right next to me. <laughs> Number 
Number 29. According to legend, why were the crenellated wall and round tower at the end of West Furlong Lane built? So why were the crenellated wall and round tower at the end of West Furlong Lane built, according to local legend? So is everybody ready for the very last answer? Well, unless we have a tiebreaker, of course. Very last question. Number 30, and this one you have a 33% uh, chance of guessing the right answer. So Chichester House on the High Street was used as a training school for workhouse girls to become domestic servants. Any who became pregnant were obliged to wear stockings of which primary colour? So any Chichester house girls who became pregnant were obliged to wear stockings of which primary colour? Does everybody have an answer for round three? Yeah. So let's go through the answers. Number 21, the Hurstby Point Society was formed in 1962. So that's two points if you got the year exactly right, or um, I'm being very generous and saying you can have one point if you were within 10 years. So that's anything, if you said 1952 to 72, I'll let you have one point. Um, number 22, Bishop Hannington was murdered in Eastern Equatorial Africa. Um, you can have a point for that, or if you've got the country, which is Uganda. Um, but if you really know your stuff and you know he was murdered in um, a little place called Basoga, which is... Um, present-day Kiando village, but you don't need to know all of this, but you may have got one of these answers. Um, and it happens to be just north of Lake Victoria near the Nile, then you can get a bonus point. So a point if you got Eastern Equatorial Africa or Uganda, or a bonus point if you got one of the more specific answers and a bonus point, sorry. So two points if you were more specific than, than East, Eastern Equatorial Africa or Uganda. Number 23, um, St. Lawrence's School celebrated its 150th anniversary at the current location in 2019. Number 24, um, Cards Place was built in 1900 oh. and Big surprise to everyone I expect is that the language used for the motto is Latin, but we'll give you a bonus point for that. Number 25. Um, the, reason the, high, the, the reason the new inn gained its license in 1810 was because there was rowdy behavior across the high street, uh, which, seem to be stemming from the Royal Oak opposite which so it led to the closure of the Royal Oak and the granting of a new license for the new inn mm -hmm. so it's rowdy behavior the previous name of the poacher inn question 26 was the Queen's Head and if your knowledge goes back beyond the point that it was the Queen's Head, before that, it was the Cricketers. So you can get a point for each. Mm. Number 27. The first use of the building that's now the Players Theatre was as a chapel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Number 28. Charles Barry was, of course, the architect responsible for the wonderful Houses of Parliament in London. And number 29, 
Um, the, as legend goes, the crenellated wall and round tower at the end of West Furlong Lane were built to deter Napoleon's forces from ascending the hill to the village in the event that they ever landed on the coast and started to march northwards. And finally, number 30, um, the girls of Chichester House who became pregnant were then obliged to wear yellow stockings. So has everybody counted up their scores for that round? Let's see how everyone did in that round first. Um, so who got more than seven? Who got more than five? I got seven. Oh, well I, done, Michelle. I, no, no, that wasn't me. Uh, no, it's, it's, oh, sorry, John, you were waving your hand. Yes. Sorry, John got seven. So, yes, I got seven, sorry. I, and I, I, we, we, got, got we got seven as well. Oh, Rash. well done. See. So, Katie, has um, are, are our competitors on YouTube actively scribbling in their scores for you? Um, so, oh, we've got a couple of nines coming Ooh. in just now. So, Belinda and um, Kathy, or Lola, um, as she's, she's using two names this evening, uh, uh, they both got nine. It throws it all up in the air, I think, this. Oh. Uh, still waiting for another couple of scores. Maybe Colin wants to put his in oh. um, as well into the mix. Let me just do my, my, my sums. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. I was just wondering why you're just doing it. Um, Colin got five that round. Good, good. I probably, I think I, I got about two in that last round. Right. So has, um, has everybody added up their grand total for the three rounds? I think we probably have a few people who got over 20, but did anybody get more than 20, 25 or more, I should say? From my calculations, Julia, we've got two people that got 25 or more. Good. So who, who got 20, who, and um, did they both get 25 or they got a different score? No, uh, they got, um, one got higher than the other. Oh. So who do we think is in third place? Well, we've, um, so by my tally, I mean, YouTube, correct me if I am wrong. Um, and, and obviously you guys here on Zoom as well. But by my tally, we've got Michelle um, and Val and John currently tied in third place on 24 points. Yeah. Is that right with my maths? Yes. Yeah. I agree with that, yes. Okay. Then we have in second place, we have, um, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, Belinda Sharp with 25 points. Woo! Very good, very good. Uh, uh. And then with a big old 26 points, we've got Kathy, who is Belinda's next door neighbour in, what was it, card? Place. Place. Ah, oh. Going full circle with coming back to the quiz. So there we go. So, Kathy, we, have an out, so we have an outright winner by the sounds of it. Well done. Ooh. Well done, yes. So well done, Kathy. Um, if you send us your... Um, send us an email just to confirm your address. I can pop this wonderful rosette that you'll actually be able to see properly when you receive it through your letterbox. And we'll be looking out for you um, whenever we're wandering around the village, won't we, everybody? Making sure to make sure you're wearing it. Kathy, if you email info at hurstfestival.org, um, we can 
take your details fully so you're not putting them in the um there we are it's in the chat for you so um we can make sure that you're not putting your personal details live out on youtube so give us an email and we'll get the rosette to you well done yes done. and thank you very much everybody for participating well thank you very much enjoyed it it was yeah. great fun and it, can I'm i just glad. add the charles barry one is really interesting because he also built my school in Brighton, Zavarian College. Ah, oh, yes. yes. And St. Peter's Church, I yes. understand. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he rebuilt Clifton. I don't know if you, if you knew that. It burnt down and he rebuilt it for Lady Okay. Yes. So that's why we had to word it to say, you know, a world famous building. Yeah. Because um, your, your old... Um, school or college isn't as well known as the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> no, well, they've not been. No, it's gone. <laughs> so, good. Well, I'm glad everybody enjoyed it. And, it um, excellent. Yes. Well done. Yes, thank very you good. very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Julia. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well done. Thanks.